Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to some more Backpack Hero. Why am I coming back to this game? I haven't played in a little while, I've missed it, and it just got uh, mod support. It already had mods for a while from what I know, but uh, mod support is officially part of the Steam version uh, on the testing branch, so if you guys want to play this with mods yourselves, it's available right now. Uh, I started with a rare herb, which is like the least interesting thing, but I'll take whatever. Okay, they're going to be hitting me for... N, but I think I want to go for damage because getting set on fire is going to hurt. Oh, hazards, create hazards, forcing you to add them to your backpack. You can be placed in empty spaces or on top of items. Careful where you place them. These special items have negative effects and any item that's completely covered by hazards will be disabled. Hazards are removed at the end of combat if you survive. Oh. Okay, so fire is different now. Uh, so when your turn ends, creates a fire in a random adjacent or a diagonal space. On use, adds two burn to self destroyed. When an item behind this is used, adds one burn to self. Interesting. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's just use the fire. Block. Alright, so what's this? Item floats on your turn, creates static in the space below. On use hurts. Okay, unfortunately that's a bit of an issue. Just go for the damage. Shouldn't get hurt too much. There we go. And we level up. I'm just going to go sideways. I like those new status effects. I think they're good. Okay, we have the Kabom mod pack Farland's Dwelling. Three uses projectile for each adjacent or diagonal consumable. Extra damage on use. Four damage to all enemies. One out of use is destroyed. We also have Old Reliable. Fires the first arrow in each row to the right. So it's a pretty basic bow. Bow blade. What does what does that symbol on the right mean? Take three items. On use deal seven damage. Is it I have no idea. We also have the Adaladl. Uh on use deals eight damage. Fires the first arrow in each row to the left. Plus one to the energy cost for this turn. Okay, and what's this? Lucky coin, adds great luck, gold, and destroyed. Let's grab the lucky arrow. We could go for the old reliable and then throw in the kabam. Only be able to fire it once. I'm not really sure if I want to do an archery build. So why don't we actually throw in the bow blade? Well, reliable isn't even that good of a bow, so let's go with those. Alright, so where are we going? We've got a collapsing thing. We've got this. I'm burdened with a, with terrible talent. Haste to a ring. If there are any items in a diagonal line, it's disabled. Piercing to a weapon. Three block and float. Ghostly and two burn to a weapon. Huh. Okay. I'm going to have to come back to this guy. He seems really interesting, but also kind of limited. Okay, so we've got chicken. I'm going to go this direction. So we get crusader armor. Adjacent shields gain three block this combat. Adjacent weapons gain damage. Clothing items. Oh, that's actually not terrible. And then a battle ring conductive. Adjacent weapons gain bonus damage this combat. So let's get rid of that one. Rotate this, throw this in. So that gives me a bit of a boost. We don't have any mana yet, but Battle Ring doesn't seem terrible. Uh, yeah, so this shields are bonus, cl clothing gets a bonus. Sounds good. Let's go fight these guys. Base Vault, I suppose. Uh, so what's he doing? We'll not take any action. Oh, that's a bomb crab, whereas they're just going to set me on fire. Oh. Start with the coin. We have the warm drink. I'm just gonna use it immediately. I've got three energy left. I think I'm gonna kill the bomb crab. His fire is not that worrisome yet. Slice and dice, far lands. On use two damage, permanent plus two damage, one out of uses. Six uses. Oh. So it goes up in damage and then goes back down. 
Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to refresh uses normally. I'm just gonna block up here. Probably only need to do that once in retrospect. But whatever. I'm, I'm gonna try to go out of... Or... I don't think I'm gonna be reorganizing very often here. There we go. Get a little bit more damage. Still don't know what the effect on Bowblade does. View card... Oh, transform. Oh. It's a sword that turns into a bow and vice versa. What else do we have? So we've got some mana if we want it. We have a lot of things. So, shoe hat. It is helmet armor. If this is not in the top row, it's disabled. Each turn adds block. Thought put ball. Can be used one time each combat. Projectile on use 26 damage. Freaking yes? And dark wand. I mean, it's good. What's this one? Clean burn. Removes status effects on an item. It's destroyed. I mean, that's okay. I think I'm just gonna grab the cool drink and the mana. There. So now I can boost my damage a little bit. I think we might just go for like a spell blade kind of deal. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go for that blacksmith. We just don't have a good enough weapon for it. If I'd started with something good, then I would have gone out of my way for it. But I didn't. So we get a forge. We've got a heart. I think I'm just gonna go this direction before we go back in case it gets me some healing as well. Alright, so let's do that. So we have him stealing gold, doing damage, and he'll run away, and then that guy is big mad. We do have the shot put if I want to just yote fool. Yep. Sounds great to me. Okay, so I'm not going to take any damage, so I'm just going to give him a stab. Embrasure. Item is heavy. For each structure adjacent, diagonal, or two spaces away, block. Oh, that's fun. All right. So I need 14. Oh, yeah, we're good. I'd like to do a structure build. It really just depends on if I'm lucky enough to find it. Okay, I think we'll be fine. This guy's getting slightly stronger with every round. But not enough to get through my defenses. I am too strong for him. Okay, what do we have? The fencing sword. Less damage. On use, six damage to all enemies. Okay, we have the makeshift shield. Three uses. Ah. Envenomed Ikilwa. Can be used one time each combat. On use. Uh, adds poison to an enemy, multiplies poison enemies by 100%, and deals 2 damage. Interesting. We also have a magma bomb. I don't know. Uh, get rid of this for a slat shield. Let's get the magma bomb. And a key? I like the idea of the fencing sword, but it's not actually that good. And yeah, double poison? Nah. Okay, magma bomb. Burn! Perfect. Okay, next order of business. Just slam a jam him into next Tuesday, and then we're good. I like this shot put. Okay, so what is this? Goo. Creates goo in adjacent spaces when destroyed. Destroy all hazards. Okay, so goo is just fire, but non-damaging. Oh, but that is a problem. Can be used directly. Creates you in a goo in adjacent spaces when destroyed. Destroys all adjacent hazards. Oh, wait. Oh. That makes my life easier. Block so I don't take any damage. It go ain't bad at all. There we go. Alright, so what do we have? What is this? Oxidizer. Wand weapon. Conductive projectile. Removes block from an enemy. That's okay. Chain knife. Projectile. Five damage to all enemies. That's kind of fun. Harem bit. One time every turn. On use deals six damage when an adjacent weapon is used. Uh, this gets cheaper. Sure. And there's the embrasure. We do also have like a shuriken. We have the dart. 
I don't think I like the oxidizer. I don't think I want the electric wand. Chain knife is kind of fun. But honestly, I think I'm just going to grab the shuriken and go from there. We also have a mana shard. Which, um... Sure. I'd like to pick up some more structures if we get lucky. But the pool is so big that we might not ever. What is this? Decoy. Can be used com twice every, com every combat. Adds dodge to self. Uh, sick. Okay. Two poison to a weapon. If it's in the same row as a consumable, it's disabled. And this guy likes to do a lot of negatives to things. And yeah, not the kind of blacksmith I want to work with. I can see it being good. I just don't know if I care. Uh, do I want to just, yeah. Heal, and I can still shot put. Which should have let me use the carom bit. Oh. Unless the carom bit has, like, a really expensive start. Yeah, it starts at three. I'd do it. Okay, so we might want to get rid of that. What do we have? Apron. Adjacent footwear gets extra block. Each consumable in the row gains block. Block. Uh, minor wand. Creates an ethereal gem. Uh, another bow, bow blade. Arrow. Power potion. All weapons gain plus four damage for the turn. Sick. And then hard hat. For each hazard below. One block. Adds a block. I mean, not that helpful, but still. Uh, let's see. Goods merchant selling stuff? Yeah. Except for I'm going to go for the money first. Five gold. Then we're going to go all the way back. Okay, that heals me for a little. Then let's go all the way back. Oh, wait, no. We know, we know what he is. Go back here. What does he sell? Copper blade. Conductive. Seven damage on kill. Damage this combat. I mean, that's kind of good. Rusty nail. Can be used one time every turn. Poison. And weak. I mean, those are okay. We have the Ring of Doom. Conductive on use adjacent weapons. Uh, adjacent and diagonal weapons gain plus one damage as combat. Versus adjacent weapons gain plus one. So, yeah. What is this? Wand of Storms creates a Thunderbolt. That's kind of fun. But why don't we sell the Karen bit? Did that give me enough gold? Okay, 36. Can I sell more things to him? Probably not. Oh. Actually, it looks like it. Which of these is worth? Value 3, value 6, value 3 again. Value 3, value 3, value 3. I don't remember how much I can sell to this guy. Okay, he's capped out. Oh, I was going to get rid of the battle ring. Well, ring of doom. Because, yeah, I could still... I could go back to this forge. He probably might have actually had something good. Ooh, energy to clothing would have actually been kind of good. And rage to melee weapon? Yeah, those would have been nice. I still like Ring of Doom, especially if we can generate a little bit of energy here. Oh, what am I doing? We're going up. Or down? We're going down. Rude Rooster. I forget. Okay, on taking damage. Oh, it's this one. Mm. Okay, I have some silly options. Because, yeah, he gets rage. Every time I hit him. Honestly, though, if he's only gaining one rage every round, that's not that bad. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, let's do big power potion. I'm not going to be able to kill him this round, though. We'll just chill. Yeah, I think I might get rid of the decoy. I like the idea of it. I just don't know if it really fits my build. Okay, so what do we have? Keep half your block for next turn. Well, that's great. Energy carries over between turns. Also great. 
select a common item to be duplicated. I think we're going to go for the shield spirit. It means we should go for like a really heavy block build of some sort. Okay. A healer. And gold for five max health. Actually, probably good. And chest has anything lantern. Two uses. Used with these with curses. On alternate use, curse. When out of use, is destroyed. Lever, bonk stick, and bronze bless breastplate. Jason and diagonal armor gains two block. Adjacent weapons gain one. So, crusader armor and that is, they're about the same. I don't know. Like, the lantern's kind of fun. I'll snag it. It might just be worth money. So we want to go for the swamp or the deep cave? Uh, every time I go to the swamp, I get killed. So we're going to the swamp. Who knows? I might actually have a good time here. Okay. First and foremost, boss is her. Cool. Shop. Oh. Okay, how much is the lamp? LU3. Let's get rid of this. Buddy towel, on use, block, but also burn. Yeah. Duct tape is great. All effects applied to this are passed to adjacent items. A plush can be used one time every combat. Gives a random fish. That's, that is fun. Nary arrow. When another arrow is present, reduce damage. For each empty space to the right, extra damage. That's eh, okay. We have a head dome. Adds block. When your turn ends, it gets worse. And we have a lot of battle rings for some reason. This is kind of lackluster. Okay, so we got Spike Boy. Um. Oh. Whenever an item. Oh, whenever an item is used. Still worth it. I think I'm just going to ignore that guy. At least for the time being. We want to just finish this guy off before he becomes too much of a problem. Okay. I think here's where the double decoy is worth it. Okay, I'm not going to take too much. Lead him from existence. And looks like he's going to curse me. What is that? Curse. You've been cursed. If you have this status effect by the end of combat, you will receive a cursed item. Oh. Interesting. Okay, what is this again? Weak. Oh! Every time we use an item, he gets weaker. That's how he works. I made objectively the right call trying to kill him. Okay, so how do cursed weapons work? Okay, select a curse. Living rock. Can be moved in combat. Each turn moves forward one space. <coughs> okay, we have the cursed shield. Anya's turns around. I guess I'm going to grab the cursed shield. You've been cursed by an item. You must take it with you or it will replace new items that you discover. To escape it, the item must be destroyed or cleansed of curses. Curses are found throughout the dungeon. Some enemies will even create cursed items, which will appear at the end of combat. That's kind of neat, actually. Uh, just have to figure out how to fit it. There. Okay, so what else do we have? We have an antidote. No. Shiv, eh. Big fish. This is good. Frying, whacking pan. Scales based on consumables above. Which actually is not terrible. Because we could get rid of the shot put ball. Like, it's fun, but it's not very good.
Oh, that's heavy. You know what? We're just getting rid of it for now. Uh, is a key con a key is not consumable. Let's get rid of the decoy too. Uh, so I can move this over. We have the poultice. Heals 20. Ooh, that's pretty good. And then we also have the antidote. Oh, I can't take more items. At least not for now. Uh, in that case, I guess I get to keep the shop at ball for a little while longer. Okay, so how are we doing this? He's hitting for 11. We can whack and pan. It does a decent amount of damage. I know this guy's an issue. Because he's healing. Uh, yeah. I wonder if dodge comes back. View card, dodge. Next attacks will do no damage. So yeah, that shield is a bit of an issue. Oh, good. What's the alternative use? Oh, cleanse. What does cleanse mean? Oh, okay. Curse has been lifted, item can be left behind. Okay, so it has one use left. Still, useful. Problem is, I need to kill this guy. 27 damage, 11. I mean, he only heals for 19. What is this? Pocket snow. Nope. Alright. I'm probably just gonna get killed if I... Hmm. Because he gets better at healing, too. I think I'm just going to have to go Berserker on him. Okay. There he goes. Now we can take our time. Unfortunately, we got cursed again. Uh, yeah, not much I can do about it. Okay, one block. It's where my block is going up. It might be. I'm not entirely sure. At least it doesn't seem like she curses me multiple times. Okay, Soul Axe. 10 damage when an adjacent item is used, disabled for one turn. Oh, that's not bad. Blood One. 7 damage. Each combat, all connected mana stones are disabled or... Unused. Turns clockwise. Deal 7 damage. The above cleaver is used. Like, some of these actually aren't bad. I think I'm going to go for the Joker Cleaver, though. Okay, let's move the shot put ball. So what else do we have? What is this? Bird Chant. Inductive. Six block. Removes one mana from the mana network. Oh. Yeah, that's not really good for me. Courageous Aspis. On use, four block, and gains block. I like that. Boomerang, 7 damage on kill, gain an energy. I mean, that's okay. I'm just going to put the liquid armor up there. That'll give me a little bit more damage. Uh, oh. Let's get a better mana stone. Um, no, that ain't going to work. There. Okay, that's still boosting them. This can be boosted three times now. Everything else is fine. Sick. Alright, grab it to money. Grab it to health. Fight the creatures. You. Okay, so we're not taking much for damage. So let's just hyper boost a bunch. We now have a 16 damage whacking pan. That sounds great to me. The poison is slightly rude, but whatever. Can I use the alternate use on this one? Get rid of that? Yeah. We're gonna need the inventory space. Unfortunately, poison goes through my block. What is this? Steel buckler. Each turn this item is used. Oh, so it just uses itself automatically? Is that the point? Probably. Okay. 
Possess Pod creates a potion in this row, disabled for one turn. When your turn ends, creates noxious fumes. Beast Ring, adjacent melee weapons do extra damage each turn. Uh, hurts, deals one damage to self, or living rock. I'm just going to go for the Beast Ring and get rid of that now. So what do we have? Sapphire floats, adjacent weapons gain extra damage. No, explosive. Wind destroy, nah. Honeycomb. When combat ends, creates bottled honey. Each combat, four slow to self, eh. What is this? Oil bottle, random oil, went out of uses. Sickle, adjacent weapon, reduce damage. I guess I'll grab the sickle for the time being in the fish. The honey could have actually been good, I'm not sure. Okay, what do we have? Heavy blade. That's okay. Panto. Can be used one time every combat. That's fine. None of these really excite me. Say a prayer, max HP, heal, or start a battle. Start a battle. I am nothing if not pugilistic today. I am here for violence. Okay, I could heal, but no. We're just going to frying pan. There we go. Got one of the two. I'll get poisoned a little bit, but it's fine. On this day, we cho choose violence. Not because we need to, but because we can. Uh, yeah, not ready for fish. Of course, the repeated curses are going to become nothing but a problem for me, but whatever. It's a good time to eat fish. Hopefully I'll level up after this one. Uh, I might not, actually. Spiky crown. When an adjacent item is used, spikes itself, but hurts. Okay. Each combat adds exhaust, but what is exhaust? I think I'm going to go for the spiky crown. What else do we have? We have the Steel Buckler. Eh. The Katar. Three damage. Items this is played on are ref Wait. Items this is played on are refreshed and can be used again this turn. Okay. What is this? No. Maybe it, like, moves it around. I don't know. Dodge to self-block. When out of use is destroyed. So we have the dodge roll. Living pebble. It's heavy. Oh. Might be too too little too late for the living pebble, but I could act, I really could see that being good. Like we might get rid of the crusader armor, just keep the aspis. Block a little bit more. Okay, let's see what they have before I do anything. Can I sell him curses? No, of course not. The problem is wait, no, we already saw this one. Okay, what do we have? 30 gold, so we can do conductive to an armor, bikes to a shield, burn to a weapon. I mean, conductive to an armor, that's two gold. That's weirdly actually kind of good. Can we do more? And do we want spikes to a shield? Sure. I'll do that. I don't actually know if that's really the best option here. I just don't know if burn was going to be particularly good on that frying pan. Okay, future your doom. No, honestly, I just don't have enough inventory space. Arrow fly straight. 
And then there's these lads. Oh, let's just weaken this one guy down. Uh, I've got four. So, one on the Aspis. And then I think we're good. Okay, we definitely need, need to level up just so I can start putting some vertical items. I, am I going to get cursed again? I don't have enough inventory space for all of these. Like, I like the new curse items. Oh, why did I do that? I like the new curse items. The only immediate beef that I have with it is just the fact that, um... I don't have enough inventory space for it all. over here. What else do we have? Cup bracelet. Each combat creates an empty cup in an adjacent space above. Okay, that's fun. Just, I literally don't have enough space for all of this. We could get rid of the boot helmet, but it's not great. I don't know. Let's see. Rage to a melee weapon. Regen to a ring. I like the regen to a ring. Because that actually would give me some healing. Especially if I can do it twice. Haste to a structure. Like, some of these would be incredible. We just need to be here long enough for that. All right. Okay. We're going to spike up, but I don't care about spikes that bad. Oh, this is going to hurt. It's fine. got many spikes, but so do I. There we go. Alright, what do we get? What is this? Scavenger plush. Unused, you find an accessory. Disabled for two combats. That's pretty good. Remove status effects from self. Serrated blade. Projectile? Interesting choice. And then we get another my first wand. The boy is too tall. I'm just gonna do that. See what happens. I think the cursed items just haunt me. And just follow me. I guess I should, should have gotten rid of the red ribbon rapier. But it's fine. She's cursing me as well. I... Greedy totem. Top of space. 12 damage to all enemies. Okay. Each combat creates a greedy totem in a top space. Gets one gold. 12 damage to all enemies. You... Oh. Okay. So I can't do anything with that yet. Man. This just blows a little bit. I'll take a bit of damage, it's fine. Okay, before she curses me again. I don't even know if she can. 
but I'm not taking that risk. I like the curse system, I just wish it was easier to get rid of them. What am I doing? Uh, I'll take some damage, it's fine. We'll be getting regen. Because at this point, I'm safe. Alright, get items. It's another magic 8 ball. 8 times each combat. It's actually kind of good. Oh, but it requires mana. Let's not do that. Um, so I'm going to snag those. What do we do? Because I want the I want the mana. Even more damage would be good. I love the idea of the living pebble, but we're already like halfway done with this run and we haven't seen another structure show up. I This is the one problem that I'm going to have probably consistently with this mode is that some items are just never going to show up. For each connected potion, burn. And poison. <laughs> wow, that's actually really good. Canary arrow. And we also just like have no means of getting rid of curses. To some degree, we might just have to get to the point where I'm not doing anything. Yeah, do I want to just sell the greed totem? Sure. Oh, that's interesting. We somehow lost a curse. I don't know how that happened. I'm not going to question it, though. Alright. It's unlikely we're going to be able to get nine more gold here, but in the off chance that we can. I'm going for it. I'm going to hit the slug. Oh, I'm a fool. I was supposed to do this. That's fine. Oh, the slug doesn't do curses. Yes. Uh, and start hitting this guy. At least we do a ton of damage. Not enough to actually break through his defenses, but it's fine. Okay, is this clothing? So the extra energy on clothing is not the worst idea either. As far as options go. Because I'll probably keep this Crusader armor with me. Okay, so what else do we have? We still have the Red Ribbon Rapier. Uh, okay, that's cleansed and can be left behind. Playing Possum. On use, heals 5, disable for 2 turns. I mean, that's not bad. Let's just do that for the time being. Okay. Finish choosing. We still have one curse. I wonder if I did something clever to get rid of that other cursed item. Maybe. Oh. Oven mitt. For each consumable to the le left, plus one block. So that's actually really good. I feel like I should keep the key with me. We could get rid of the shoe hat. Or we could get rid of the scavenger plush. I'd... You know what, actually? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sell it. Okay, that's actually fine. You know, oddly enough, the spiky crown is not so bad. So I might want to keep that. So we have the Necronomicon. On use, three poison all enemies, two mana to the connected network. So, I mean, Necronomicon is, is great. Oh, rolling pin. For each consumable in this column, rotatable. So I could get rid of the frying pan, because it just gets one extra consumable above. 
We could put the rolling pin sideways along this. And then jam like a lot more in with some oven mitts. That's not the worst idea. What does this one do though? Nah. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the whacking pan for the rolling pin. Because, yeah, this gets plus three damage just from this, and we can fit even more in. We lose the Crusader armor bonus. And to some degree, I might even want to consider just saying, like, eh, maybe I don't need the Crusader armor. I'm in favor of more rolling pin damage. We'll see. For now. Oh, you're slightly spooky looking. Right, let's get my rolling pin up to snuff. Oh, it can only be used once per turn. All of a sudden, that's maybe a little bit worse. Or maybe not. I don't know. The extra curse is unappreciated, and I really wish I'd noticed that this is only usable once per turn. Oh, we should pay attention in retrospect. Oh, the rolling pin's free, though. So we could actually get two rolling pins. Okay. I'm back on team rolling, uh, rolling pin, maybe. Homework. Uh, is great, actually. Like, just kind of a fantastic item. Okay, grab another poultice. Is this not a consumable? What is this? Jukebox. Haste to self. Costs one gold, though. And it, isn't an, it is an uncommon. We do have the lightning bolt, but it's freaking huge. Let's just go with that. Because at least this way we can go back here. Yeah, he doesn't have another rolling pin, but we can sell him the jukebox. Yeah, anything else new? Yeah, let's just go down to these guys. Pop the plush. I guess I don't need to invest in the regen anymore. Yeah, I can use this guy as many times as I want. So yeah, I guess we're just going to be boosting this rolling pin uh, to the nines. Okay, they're going to be doing 14 damage to me. So... Oh, can it only be used once? Yeah. Alright, so it's not quite as good as I'd like it to be, but it's fine. I'm just gonna shields up. Let them just bounce off of my spikes. I mean, I guess we've crafted ourselves a spike build. I almost kind of wish I hadn't gotten rid of those other spiky crowns. Oh well. Okay, so we've got that. We've got hot coals. Each combat. Interesting accessory. Up in an adjacent spot above, but that's every combat. I don't hate it. It's not that good for me. And each space above this adds boots. Do these count as clothing? No, they're footwear and armor. Okay. We'll do that for now, just for some extra free block. Let's go for this. I don't need healing. Oh, I need a key. I think we had one. There it is. Cost six. Better be worth it. Or else. There we go. Alright, we have a ballistic shield. For each adjacent item, this gets plus damage to all enemies. What? 
Okay. I don't, I'm not going to pick it, but it is funny. Huh. Okay. Armor, you know what? I'm going to just get rid of the shoe hat. I think I'm going to grab the machete. It's also free. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Because we can grab the magical herb and the potion as well. There we go. I don't need the boot hat that much. So let's go to the forge and see what it gives me. So haste to a structure, regen to a ring. The regen is still not a bad idea. But energy to a clothing. Oh. Cannot be forged further. Never mind. Cannot be forged further. Uh, so in that case, I'm just going to save the rest of my money. I was really... Well, no, I guess we'll be able to give ourselves a lot of regen as a result of this. So, I'm going to be quite tanky. Tons of... Tons of spikes. Wasn't that supposed to give me, like, a inch more? Whatever. Okay. So now I, I can attack twice for free. And shield up a bunch. Go with that. Alright, keep hitting her. Hit the lot of them. And then I've still got tons of energy to go around. Yeah, so it looks like regen is just 1 HP per round. Oh, it's not on a per use, it's just on an each turn. That's slightly less cool. Not bad. I was just hoping for so much more. Because how absolutely incredibly cool would it have been uh, if I could just start each round by giving myself, what, five regen? Big sad. Right, there we go, and he flee. I really like the shield. I mean, the scaling quality of it is good. Okay, items gain, but no. No. Cannot be placed in the same space twice. Relic. Oh. Each turn gives one extra energy. But it's going to have to be moved around. Oh, that's every, after every combat? Ick. I'm just going to snag that. Yeah, I, I hope there's a mod that just increases everything's drop rate. One time every turn, one damage, adds freeze. Throwing cards. Three times each combat. Now I'm curious what freeze, I freeze does? You know what? I'm actually just going to get rid of that. It's not that good. There. Okay, so now I've got a bunch of free things. If that armor could have been enchanted, I think it would have been great. Uh, cleanse all curses. I have one. Now I'm just going for the max health. Because I actually like this one. Frozen Heart or Magma Core. I don't think I've been to Frozen Heart, so let's go there. Okay. We have something to collect over there. Oh, hello, lads. 
item is disabled. to menu. Give me a second. I just picked that up so I could like sell it. It's nice that it actually lets me redo as many of these as I want. Anyway, we're, we're getting rid of that. Also, homework needs to go back in here. The throwing cards are just... Uh, actually, if I move the throwing cards over here... There. Because this thing isn't conducted. Conductive, but the rest of it is. Alright, so that should work. Let's try this again. Okay. Now I can use it a whole bunch. Uh, let's see. We might have to block a couple of times here, though. We don't have quite as much shields uh, as last time. But I've got throwing cards for some damage. Ice pick for some damage. Rolling pin. I should have done the machete first. I wasn't thinking. Oh, well. I'm just going to use the all three throwing cards right off the bat. They're disabled for the rest of the round, but that just isn't a big deal for me. Alright, and try and hit me. You'll regret it. Dual shields. Two times each turn. On use. No. Interesting, but no. Engine 1. Connected to mana. Removes mana from the network. Deals damage. Eh. Okay. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. We're just gonna keep adding more and more mana to my network until it becomes absurd. Do common, common, rare for some reason. I mean, we could lose out on a little bit of damage. I think I'm going to, I'm gonna bring it along, because that's good fodder for a shop. Pathway is blocked, oh, by that guy. Okay, and they're going to get zappy. Unfortunately, the zappy one is... Uh... Oh, I'm supposed to use machete first. But I am a wee fool. Okay. Did he get me with two of these? Alright, create static in the space below. On use, hurts two damage to self. Sure. cursing me again, and I think they'll go away. What does Frost do? Additional damage when attacked. Oh. And well, that's actually kind of cool. A little bit more mana. Okay, so what do we have? Magma Bomb. Splint. Actually, Splint's pretty good. Oh, but we do have some armor. Hachi Mask. This gives me a little bit. And we have Warm Soup. We also have a Wooden Knife. No. I think I'm fine. Okay, so what are we looking at? I don't need the free health. Oh. Let's see if he has a key. Ua Obi Belt. When Jason Shuriken is used, uh, bonus damage to Shurikens. I mean, that's kind of fun. I'm just going to sell those for the time being. What is this? Black Mana Stone. When adjacent Mana Stone is destroyed, permanently increased cost by one. Oh. On use, adjacent or diagonal Mana Stones are destroyed. So, the black mana stone effectively consumes other ones. Interesting. I don't hate that. I think the only immediate problem is, I like the charging mana stone. It'd be a shame to lose that one. I 
know. All things considered, I think I'm fine without it. We don't have a whole lot of inventory footprint. Reach enemy. Let's do damage. On use, one damage to all enemies. That's kind of fun. Oh, right. We don't have a key. Well. Okay, slow to an... Slow enemy to a weapon, conductive to an armor, haste to a structure, burn to a weapon. Item cannot be forged further. Can I just keep doing that? Alright, we now do a lot of slow. Go fight some cultists. There might be some better ways of doing that, but whatever. Okay. We'll do one of those. Reduce block by three when blocking. Oh! That only affected the first one. That's slightly unfortunate. What does he got? Rough hide. Damage from projectiles reduced by a little bit. Nah. That's not a problem. I've still got some energy left. Where have I been taking this damage from? I have no idea. I guess it's not really much. Okay, what else do we have? Right oven mitt. mitt. Alright, I mean, that's just good. Age shield? No. Cleansing bomb? Absolutely. Okay, we definitely need some more inventory space. Unfortunately, I'm a ways off of leveling still. Uh, it's just slightly annoying. Huffle. No. Kind of fine not having any of those. Music in this zone is cool, though. I mean, his backpack hero, it's always. Like every square inch of this game has always been fantastic. Okay. Ice block. Out of use is not a clue. We'll have to see what happens when it actually gets to me. Okay, so let's start with that. Then hit him with that. And then beef up. Ice. Oh. damage. Oh, doesn't hit through the shields, though. Alright. Make it so they don't hit me. I don't quite have enough. But at least he's done. Now, is he going to give me uh, two small ice blocks? Well, the small ones I can work with, actually. They're fine. It's just the big ones that are spooky. And even then, only so much. Okay. Bluefin. Knight's Shield. Frozen Oil. But maybe just bluefin. Just to top myself off. I'd like to stack some more consumables, but uh, we're a little strapped on space. Because I'm just going to go here. Oh, that was actually EXP. Sick. Brass ring, bonus scratch damage. No, speedy leaf. Is actually really good. Uh 
Uh, let's see. So I think I'm just gonna quaff that. Oh, it's an accessory. Oh, so it's just this battle. I thought it was a consumable. It is not. Now, it does look like they're swinging for me. What is that? 16, 24, 32, 50 damage. So no, I should just shield up a bunch. Uh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Not necessarily. Okay, I'm gonna start with the machete. Sixteen. That does twenty-two. So if I do these two, I take him out. And then we've got these three. Okay, there. We take no damage. They do weaken me, though, which is slightly annoying. Very slightly. Really gotta start with the machete, though. But, alas, die. Bounce off of my spiky shields, you fool. Ooh, lantern. Alright, so that's over and done with, finally. Uh, do we want to get rid of the spiky crown? No, actually, let's deselect this for the time being. We also have a die. On alternate use, destroyed. Reroll your rewards. Eh, stone tablet. Magic accessory. Mana flows through, block, block this turn. It's kind of fun. We have a pouch. Store things inside. It can't be used, though. Oh. Huh. That's kind of fun. But no. I don't think I'm getting to that gold. So I'm not even going to attempt. Yeah. Okay, so this one's going to be a bit of a doozer. They're both tough. I'm like, the one thing I can and should do is probably use my potions. Maybe. I think I'm going to go for Ice Bear, though. Okay, because he's going to do that. Okay. I'm just going to do that. So, hurt self, hardly a problem. Using that is going to cost one more. There we go. Mana up. Just get him with a rolling pin. I think we're good. Okay. Get rid of that just so we don't have to worry about it. I think I'm going to have that remain true for everything. Boost a little bit more damage because we want this guy to go down next turn. I mean, I could throw a mug at him. There we go. That works and we level up. Hey. Okay, so what is this? Crisis Ring. On use, adjacent items are used. Adjacent items are disabled for the rest of combat. Oh. Not that good. That common accessory. Consumable. Is this also a consumable? Oil bottle? Sure. I'll just snag that for now. Alright. What do we have in the shop? So I think I'm going to sell the oil. It's just kind of big. The warm drink ain't bad. Gives a fish. Heals friendlies. You know what? I'll live. I'll get another consumable at some point. Ah, oh, that's a lot of enemies. I'm not actually sure how I'm supposed to really react to this, apart from shock and terror. Uh, uh, machete first. Okay, so we gotta kill the ones 
that are currently trying to curse me. There we go. Okay. I'm going to take some damage, but we heal. Okay, go for that. I think we're fine. Okay, lead with the machete. I speak to the face. Him, and then he's just going for some rage. Alright, and we're golden. Spellblade's ring. Not that good. Get a key, though. Poisoning oil. Jason diagonal weapons. Gain plus one poison this combat. And is destroyed, but that's fine. Okay, anything else? We do have the cool drink. I like the poultices. I'm going to hold on to those. Let's get rid of the warm suit. Oh, we can't. It's fine. Okay, potion lose health? No, thank you. Alright. I think we've got a pretty good build for ourselves at the moment. It's not perfect, but it does a decent amount of damage and clears groups fairly quickly. Yeah, let's just finish them off. Because Spark uh, Sparksy here is not too much of a problem. Poison's gonna be an issue. Not much I can do about that, though. But at least it'll only hit me once? It might not even hit me more, more than once. Didn't even hit me at all. Sick. What is this? Cleaver Premium Pack. Oh, two random... I like the booster packs. Those are kind of fun. We get to spaghetti. we just get rid of the... Get rid of that. Let's go for a potion. Uh, let's see. Pouch. Let's go back to the forge. I don't know if there's much left I can forge. Spikes to a shield. Can I add more spikes to the shield? Yes. How many spike can we add to shield? Never mind, we're done. Okay, that's fine. My spike gain has just, uh, spiked. Oh. I had a key. I gave away said key. It's fine. I don't think we needed it that bad anyway. Alright. Now I think this is the end. Yes. Good. Because my voice is starting to uh, go again. It's not that bad. But still. It's a little rough. Okay, 23 damage, and what is this? Dodge tall enemies. Well, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of dodge. Uh, Jason and diagonal weapons gain poison this combat. Sick. I think it's worth it. Okay, start with the ice pick. And do we just burn the throwing cards right now? No, I think we'll save them. Okay, so I've just absolutely buried him in status effects. That feels good. So he's got one dodge. Uh, booster damage further. Miss with a machete, but that's fine. And he's going to take 27 damage hitting me. That's impressive. Okay, start with the machete. I think I'm just gonna focus on him more than anything else. Okay, so the curses weren't that bad in retrospect. 
I thought, I thought they were going to be more of a problem. But they ended up being only a slight nuisance. Ow. Guess I kind of jumped the gun on some of those, but that's fine. Okay, 26, 36. And those statics aren't going to be a problem. I'll take a bit of damage here. But he's going to hit himself for like a lot. So I think it's fine. Okay, he did not give dodge and he is now dead. And so are you. Just for even showing your, your face around here. Perfect. And we're not doing a infinite round. I don't do that. Cannot find rare legendary items. No. Oh, windmill energy carries over between runs. Interesting. They definitely changed a lot of the items in this game to be way more niche. And I kind of like that because previously they were a little bit more generic. You know, this one just gives you one extra energy. And now it's uh, now it's much more just like, oh, the more gold you have, the more energy you have. OK, uh, I don't like that kind of item, but it does mean that, like, if you're pursuing a specific build, it's a little bit. Um, I don't want to say it's a little bit better, but if you're pursuing a very specific build, uh, these relics will make more sense as opposed to just kind of the like, oh, yeah, none of these are good, so I'm just going to go for the energy relic, or I just go for the energy relic every time. By making things more niche, it, it means you have to build around them and think about them as opposed to just no-brainer picking X or Y items along the way. I, I will still say my one beef with mod support is there are too many items. Like, there are already too many items in Backpack Hero to begin with. Uh, to some degree, but it feels like there's e maybe even too much now and that like we saw three or four structures that entire run and that kind of sucks a little bit because I was like, ah, it'd be really nice if I could pick one. Like almost if there was a mod that let you set your waiting a little bit like, hey, make structures 50% more common to show up and it scales a little bit. So if I'm going on a structure build, it actually feels like it can do it as opposed to man, that's cool structure. I'd love to build around someday, but probably never because structures are too niche and if I can't find the right stuff they're just an albatross that doesn't help me I don't know anyway with all that said the mod support for backpack hero is a welcome addition uh, an unsurprising one I think it's had mods for like a year now uh, but is one that is very appreciated and will add a lot to the game uh, over the years and hopefully it gets a lot of support both in terms of like new items and maybe some rebalances maybe some new item or not items um, some new like areas and enemies to go with, go through and deal with. Maybe even characters. That could be fun. For now though, I guess uh, Backpack Hero has been out for a, a year, uh, over a year on Steam. I don't know. Time is imaginary, and I've lost all track of it. Uh, but highly recommended. It. it is one of the best roguelikes I've ever played. Uh, so if you haven't tried it yet, I highly encourage you do so. But for now, at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day. Then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.